pretty modest. I'm from Brooklyn. Oh, been here a long time. Uh, yeah, since 1990. Okay. You're yeah. a very modest man. You're very modest. <laughs> That's why I like you. Know, you Yeah, you're very humble. You're yeah. sure. You are. I, I, you're I, I, I definitely, I definitely have a. Th a th so, you have a besides your great uh, intellectual capacity. Well, I appreciate. It. I, I do. I do have a um, a chip on my shoulder for people who've been lost to history, though. So, from my family, my uncle invented the automatic pilot, and he invented the first uh, automatic pilot. The, yeah, they, he was a vice president of Sperry, so he invented the first electrical gyro compass, no kidding. which became the A one bomb site, which became the first automatic pilot. He was actually here in Phoenix from sixty to sixty four. He might he might have known your dad. Um, he, died, he died before I was born, and then my aunt was the first female welder in the Brooklyn Navy Yard at Todd Shipyard. So I've always had like this upbringing of these you're, you're, you're modest right. people who... You know how you relate could, to my dad right. in one simple way, one simple word, you both have an enormous curiosity to learn. You're just like, dad had, he, had a, he had an endless curiosity. <laughs> Limitless curiosity. <laughs> yeah, this one, you're the same way. I'm embarrassed like you think. You are. Think. And you Thank were, you. Look at yeah. you. See, yeah. you don't want to talk about it. <laughs> <laughs> you're, 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 I love that. Wait, 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 wait. I don't want to lose focus. I don't want to lose focus. I love that okay. humble quality yeah. of like, <laughs> so, incarnation. Yeah. So you see how humble yeah, you so are? You're just, you just diverted yeah. off. You're right. Yeah. Like I'm talking to my dad right now. So your dad. He'll just uh, divert it. He'll just yeah. push it off. Well, we can talk about that after because I'm, apparently I'm running at a battery and chip space on everything that I'm yeah. recording with. Well, we yeah, I'm gonna go to. The, I'll go to the. Iph I'll have to go to the iPad next to record. Yeah. Um, okay. So if your dad's here in the '40s, and he and you, that's where we're getting to. So he would go to high holidays. Yeah, he would. He would always take us for Yom Kippur and. Uh, um, Rosh Hashanah. And, Rosh Hashanah. Right. Okay, so he. Go. So he and did. Then do after that. a while. After we got through, well, I learned by the time, we're, all through grade school and high school, we would go. And then when we weren't Bar Mitzvah, he was disappointed, but he understood because he, he was, when he, he was Bar Mitzvah in 1931, but he didn't, he didn't really care, really wasn't that. It, it, was, it wasn't that much of a disappointment. And, but we were confirmed. Oh, okay. In that's the ref so that's the reformed. 16. Okay. We were confirmed in 1960. Okay. Yeah. Osborne. That made it feel better, right. So Osborne. Was, uh, Osborne. Okay, so this is, uh, so the timeline that I'm looking at, and this is new information that I found, is, so you have the richer Jewish families, the Reform families, you have Korik and Kroloff and Diamond and a couple of these guys, and they build the new Beth Israel on Osborne for $200,000 in 1948. Your family was going to the old, must have been going to the old one on Culver Street. No. No, you didn't. What you went there? Oh, okay, so you always so 1950. Okay, so you're going to the new one, and it's, yeah, I don't know where. I don't, yeah. So 1950 is the first year the that you. First you're, six years of our life, 44 to 50. I don't remember them going anywhere or I'm talking about. Okay, so that so they that probably did. Right, or your dad, as a young architect, could have bid on that project because that was designed by Lesher Mahoney. Right, mm -hmm. that's a real familiar name. Right, too. which is a big Arizona architecture yeah, firm, and you never hear yeah. Oh, okay. You okay? Unless you need to get. You doing okay? Oh, I have chronic vertigo, and I sit uh, or oh. stand real long. I get dizzy. Uh, well, we can come another time too. Should we keep? Yeah. Should we keep walking? You wanna? I'll show you the. I'll show you the 18-inch I beam up here. Yeah, let's do that. <laughs> so this building. So in 1948, it's a 200 thousand dollar budget for that building. You know how much this building was built for? I got this from John Martian, who... This is 19, should, John Martian, yeah. He, my loved, dad was really crazy about him. He, lo and he loved my dad. Yeah, he loves your dad. Like, right. like the day that I called him, he had gone to Beth Hebrew Synagogue and put a rock on your dad's headstone. Really? Yeah. John <laughs> I mean, good. Yeah, John... Oh, yeah. So John brought the book of, of the, the, the booking of, of, of all their jobs in the 1950s, and this building was built for $17,809. So it's one eleventh of the cost of Beth, of Beth Israel, and most of it was put in by a lot of it was put in by the reformed guys. Cork put money in. Supposedly Bron Sam Bronfman put money in because because Krohn was uh, had a contact with Bronfman way going way back. We haven't been able to find it directly. Um, we know Diana. I want to introduce you to Diana Krohn, Abraham Lincoln Krohn's niece is still around. She's okay, in her mid, yeah, she's in her mid seventies, and I've talked to her about you, and talked to her about Max, and yeah. So it's like the, the main, the main character. There's, there's. I mean, obviously, there's a lot of congregants I don't know about, but the main men and women, but the main men who made the synagogue happen were Rabbi Crone, 
and Max Kaufman and Elias Lowy. Right, that's and, what it says in that thing. Right, 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 which right. is where Rob, I'm putting it. My brother Rob read all that. Right, but there could be a whole bunch of other stories because mm -hmm. each one of these stories keeps unfolding. Mm -hmm. If I don't find you to get all those pieces and I don't see your dad's studio, that's a whole amazing chapter. I mean, obviously, I'm in love with the building and, and the architecture is spectacular and the numbers and the math goes, but without having all those other pieces, they're real, it's, all, it's like not, you can't find everything on Google, right? You're like, no. Like if you're not writing, if you're not writing the story, right. if you don't have all the stories. So yeah, let me bring you back. There's a one inch step of here. Oh yeah. If it was cooler, there I had to hydrate. Oh, let me see. We might have some water, and I'll. Uh, I have. I've been. Didn't want to put the phone down so I could turn the AC on. We'll have the air blowing oh, on us. Oh, yeah. yeah. So this is what's going to when you see all the lights in the right. Yeah. So we have photos of that's your computer. Technology. The computer. Yeah. So we have How the. How do you do that? I have some really young, talented guys working for me, yeah, and you told we, me you we have, yeah. We, well, we have a laser scanner, and it's like well, it's, it's points in space. So if that's the if that's where the eternal flame is, and then you and you know where that is measurement wise, and it's thirty six inches away, and then you take a photo, you could coordinate where it's going to be. And then you take all the measurements, and then you look at the photo, you can reconstruct what it's supposed to be. So where the arc and the bema and those two obelisks, I mean, I joke with people all the time. I was like, I defy anyone to find a synagogue that has pyramids in it. Only your dad would have put, yeah. would have put two That's obelisks true. with pyramids. Yeah. And, I, and I found o o what's that word? an obelisk. It's a, it's, a, it's a long column with a pyramid on top of it. Oh, obelisk. Yeah. O B O O O B E L. Like the National Monument. Yeah, like the National Monument, exactly. That's an obelisk. Like the, yeah, obelisk. O obelisk. obelisk. Yeah, it's my Brooklyn accent. That's all right. Obel yeah. Obelisk, obelisk. Yeah. So, and they're in, and there's a little oh, start. Here, I thought that was all done. No, when I looked no. at the computer. And yeah. I said, that's oh, what it's going actually, to Rob did too. He said, oh, it's incredible, it's spectacular. <laughs> and then when I talked to him tomorrow night, I said, no, <laughs> that's that's going to blow the fantasy. <laughs> that's 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 <laughs> Michael <laughs> Levine, Michael Levine's. Um, <laughs> Re right. Reconstruction. Yeah. Reconst computer yeah. reconstruction. Well, well, here's the thing. But it will look like that. Yeah, it will look like it. Look, and look, even when we dug, when we took all this stuff out, there was a whole bunch of detritus and garbage underneath here. And when it had turned to a church and turned to the Black Theater and there's leftover pieces. And the Jewish community, that they're never, they never had anyone, um, they never had any big, uh, big donor that was part of that congregation while it was happening. Right. Which means you always have deferred maintenance. And you have leaky windows, and, yeah, so you and don't you, have you feel you've got maintenance, and you, had no, and you want to get rid of that. And you had no air conditioning, so, you, so you, had, you had it was it was hot. So Bill Levine went here when he mm -hmm. moved from Brooklyn, who's now a billionaire. Right. He's related to you? No, not related to me. <laughs> if he was related to me, we'd be done already. <laughs> <laughs> so right. he's from, you, need, you need to get on GoFundMe. Yeah, I know. Well, 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 we, we, well, we might do that. So, so yeah, that's a whole. Uh, okay. I want to get the history part, but you yeah, know, I do want to. I do want to talk to you guys about that. Oh, I don't know much about yeah, it. Yeah, but but but, but the, in the general in the general sense. Sure. Okay. You want to turn the AC? Oh, I it's just in have front of the AC. Vertigo. I've had three brain surgeries. Two right through here, and one right through here. Yeah, he has a hard time. Much vertical time. I can't concentrate. You want to go in the scissor lift? I'll bring you up even more vertigo. I have a scissor lift right there. We go really high. We could we could oh, we could, we could leverage. This year and I, don't yeah. we, we, I said we could leverage the vertigo. We could see how. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> here, hold here. I'll show you. 